Happy New Year. Still up. <laughs> what? I can't fall asleep. <laughs> it's okay, you're allowed to stay up till midnight tonight. Okay. Hey guys, so I'm here in the vlog room. It is after 11 already on New Year's Eve, and I thought I would just jump on quick to A, wish you all a Happy New Year, and to B, give a quick little bit of advice right before the new year begins. So here is your last bit of advice for the year. Today is December 31st, 2018, and here is your AOTD. So as you can see, um, in my creative room here, I got my piano music stuff and the blogging couch, etc., etc. And uh, this year I plan to be in this room quite a bit, doing a lot of creative different things. So keep a watch out tomorrow because we have a, a big announcement coming tomorrow um, as far as where we're going to go with the direction of our channel. And we're kind of spinning off a little bit, that's all I'll say right now. But this is, of course, the big time of year where everybody comes up with their New Year's resolutions and what they're going to do in the next year. So um, we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions for 2019. It should come to no surprise that I'm a big dreamer and that, of course, my goals for every New Year that come are, like, exponential, right? Like, ridiculous. So my advice for myself is this, and that is to make realistic goals for the upcoming year. What I mean by that is, so maybe before I've said, I'm gonna hit a record deal this year. <laughs> could happen, didn't happen, could happen. Or that maybe I wanted to buy my own private island. Didn't happen either. I've often gone with the fitness thing and said, you know, I'm gonna be a cover model by June. Doesn't happen. But this year I'm gonna look at my goals as more realistic ones. Like, I have a year and this is where I want to be in a year, and this is what I would like to accomplish in a year. And I have all day tomorrow to think about that, but for right now, I know that one of them is to get back into fitness and to get back into a good routine of working out, because I've really fallen out of that, so that's a big one. Another big one for me is to keep growing the YouTube channel. So, like, I'm not putting a limit on it saying I want to be at 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, because I don't know that that will happen. I don't know that it won't, but I'm not going to make a goal for myself that I don't know that I can attain realistically. Does that make sense? I also have some other goals creatively, like maybe finishing another book and um, some music things that I'm working on that I want to finish too, but I, again, I'm not going to put like a, a finite point on that and a, and a number and a specific day and time because I just don't feel that that's how things work realistically. That's the key word here, realistically. So my advice to you when you're making your goals for this year is to kind of just lay things out and come up with a realistic goal that you can attain and that you can that you can conquer by December 31st of 2019, so. All right guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you all have a great new year, have a great uh, time celebrating at midnight and tomorrow all day long.